Hey guys, I'm Torin. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you haven't been here before, I do a lot of art videos and bullet journal videos. Today, however, is my very first time painting on a skateboard that I've received in the post. Um, it's wood grain and I'm going to cover the entire thing with a collage of Studio Ghibli film Spirited Away. So if you want to see how we go, let's check it out. So this is the skateboard that arrived in the post. Unfortunately, it's got this big black mark across it, which was from a texter, but that shouldn't matter to me because I'm going to paint it all white anyway. So I'm going to use an acrylic gesso to prime this baby ready for painting. So first things first, I did do a light sand over this board when I received it. Um, but to be honest, I think I would have liked to have sanded a bit more because a lot of the texture was still coming through. So if you're going to do your own, just give it a really good sand first and then prime it. You'll probably need a few coats of gesso. I sure did. So I think I did about three coats and I just used the gesso that I had. And I also just used a really cheap paintbrush, which also started molting on me, which wasn't great, but it did the job and here it is ready to go. So I'm now starting to sketch out my design onto the board now that it's primed. I started using a China Graph pencil because I thought it would rub off easily. You just use water to rub China Graph pencils off, but the blue was just smudging and smearing up my white. So I changed to just a normal pencil and using the eraser worked fine. Actually the electric eraser, electric eraser that I have worked really good. So I kept on with that and sketched out my entire plan which is a large collage of the characters from Spirited Away. If you haven't seen that movie, it's definitely worth watching. It's so creative and uh, my daughter loves it at the moment. She requests it weekly. So that's why I was feeling very inspired to put this on her skateboard deck. So I'm now starting to paint it. I have gone for like a black, um, really dark top section because um, I'm picturing that, that this scene is sort of at night and the dragon is sort of intertwined around the other characters. So I've drawn Haku in the dragon form as sort of like a bluish shade because, because of that night. Um, it is a white dinosaur, a um, white dinosaur, a white dragon in the movie, um, but because it's lit up at night time, I just wanted to give more blue shades. Um, that was kind of like the overall color theme I wanted to go with um, to tie into another couple of the characters. If anyone is interested in knowing what products I use, I'll link them down below in the description box. But the general thing is just any acrylic paint would do fine on this. It's just a plain wooden board with gesso on it. So you're pretty much right. As soon as you've got the gesso on, you can use any acrylic paint you like. Um, so here you'll see me just mapping in all the shades and the colors that I see in my reference photos. Um, and it is a different way of drawing when I'm um, painting when doing these anime styles. They're very sharp shadows um, and they're like almost building shapes rather than blending. So you don't need much um, blending going on in your paints when you're doing anime. You can kind of structure out some shapes to represent shadows. So that's what I've tried to do. So it's a little bit different to how I would normally paint, but I had such a good time doing it. I think I can see myself doing more of these in the future. I really liked drawing on the skateboard or painting on the skateboard. Um, and the result is so cool to have something that's functional as well as beautiful in the end. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend it if you haven't tried it already and you fancy a bit of art. Um, yeah, so now I'm moving on to the next character, which is the, oh, ooh, it's a bit of a spoiler alert actually. <laughs> it's the father who is a pig at the moment. I forgot to mention my favorite part of this piece is randomly the hydrangea flowers behind the pig. There's something just so simple in creating them and I'm just like fascinated by how they turned out. It was so, so simple, just little dots for each of the shadows. It was three colors to get the effect that I wanted of those hydrangeas. So I feel like I'm gonna have to paint more of those just for myself around the place. They're probably one of my favorite flowers and they just look gorgeous. So really happy with how that turned out. So now we're moving on to some adding more details um, around the scene and building on those characters. Here we've got this funny little funny little creature. It's hard not to give anything away because uh, it's such an in-depth movie that I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it. Um, yeah, let's just say this is a baby slash mouse creature. <laughs> Like I said earlier, I do wish that I'd spent a little bit more time sanding this back because it was hard to get um, all the, the right colors into the grooves of the wood, like it was quite textured. 
So I wish I'd sanded it more so that it could have been really smooth. So it was soaking up my paint. And in this part, I was using a very small, fine brush to do all the detail work around, you know, the, the face, facial features and all the folds in the hair and creases and just anything like a small um, line art. I was using this tiny, tiny brush, but it was taking forever and it was driving me up the wall, actually. So I decided to move on to um, a marker later. So I just used my calligraphy pen. So I hope I didn't ruin it. But yeah, I did that to use the liner after this and that increased the speed of this because it was already hours and hours of work and I thought, why am I spending so much time using a fine little brush when I could just use a pen? So in hindsight, wish I did that from the beginning. Would have saved time. And I think it looked better as well because these characters all have line art on them in, in the actual references. I just wanted to have it all be paint for some reason. I went back on that anyway. If you're wondering how I got the composition worked out, I did actually do a little sketch before I started on the board, obviously, to lay out exactly where each character was going to go to make sure they were fit. I didn't do it to scale or anything, I just had a general guide. And then I started with Chihiro, which is this, this girl here. So I started with her because I wanted her to be in the center. And I just made sure to keep any important characters or any important parts away from where the wheels go. Um, so there's a couple of drill holes where your trucks and wheels would go. So I made sure to steer clear of that area so that that can just be a little bit of background underneath there, wouldn't get in the way. And then I went in and added, and then I only just chose where the characters would go and then added these beautiful flowers and things in the background um, to fill space and sort of set the scene a little bit better. One annoying thing about acrylic paint is it does dry really fast. So usually that's a good thing for me, but in this case, I had to remix this blue for the dragon several times. Um, Cause this was at least oh, five or six different um, sessions, painting sessions. So I did a little bit of the dragon each time and uh, I was getting so worried that the blue was changing as I went further down the board. But it all worked out in the end, but it was frustrating having to try and match that color every single time. I can actually keep my palette in the fridge overnight and that tends to work if you've got really like a big lump of paint, but if it's spread out at all, which mine always seem to be spread out because I you know, spread it out when I'm mixing it, then they don't seem to hold their, um, hold their liquidity if that's a word, I'm pretty sure it is, liquidity. So here is where I started to approach the finish line and I was very happy about that. It had been many days and I was, I think I spent at least 14 hours maybe. I'll have to figure that one out and write it down in the description if you're interested. Um, but yeah, and then I was adding in this these final characters. This is Lynn here who almost didn't make the cut. And then we happened to be watching the movie as I was painting this. And my daughter yelled out, is Lynn in there? And so I quickly added her in instead of, I had a little ghost in the doorway there. So yeah, that, that didn't matter. I could get rid of um, the ghost and put in Lynn anyway. And then this is one of the main characters who is evil, but also has, oh no, I can't. It's another spoiler alert. I keep, okay, I'm not gonna say anything. This is, either one or the other of a character from the movie. <laughs> You're just gonna have to watch it and trust me. Um, but yeah, she was really fun to do. Lots of wrinkles and I love doing this, sh this shading where it's just a block of color. That was really cool. And then she was finished. So it was time to take off the tape from the edges. I forgot to mention actually that I taped it up before I started um, the priming or maybe just after the priming um, I realized that I didn't want it to go round onto the underside so I did that first and now I am coating it with a clear coat this is just one that I found in the garage that we had previously coated some um, exterior wood with so it's just a clear polyurethane um, coat that I've just brushed on with a very cheap um, brush that I also had lying around very handy when you have these things for these fun little projects um, so yeah, just clearing it out and I did have to do it twice because I want it to be quite sturdy and hopefully not scratch too much. Um, 
but yeah, this is my first one. I can definitely think that I'll be doing these again because it was so much fun and I'm really happy with the results and how the final piece looks. Um, I haven't showed my daughter yet, but I think she'll be very stoked to get this. She's already wanting to put wheels on it and get, get working on becoming a skater girl. <laughs> Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and seeing how I painted my first skateboard. And if you did like it, please leave a thumbs up down below and don't forget to comment if you want to say hi. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.